Recently, I got an idea from one of Gideon Shawick's videos on how to create a really slick looking white background. He was able to do this just with lights and being creative with their positioning. His solution was a little over a thousand dollars. That being said, it looks fantastic, so it's clearly well worth it. But I wanted to see just how inexpensively I could recreate this effect. Be sure to watch Gideon's video as well for a great diagram on the light's position, complete with the best drawing of a camera ever. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hi, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today I'd like to talk about something that, for the first time ever, has actually nothing to do with drones. I want to talk about how I made this cool white background effect. And to be honest, it didn't cost me very much. It's not any fancy trickery with software or anything like that. In fact, I'm using free software and all the supplies it took to do this on top of the video camera and stuff I already had only cost me 50 bucks and I picked them up from my local hardware store. Now, I got this idea from Gideon Shalwick and he's awesome. He's got a lot of really cool videos. You definitely want to check them out. I'm actually going to annotate a link to the video that I got this idea from right here. So. Without further ado, let's get right into how I did this. Let's back it out. All right, so this is what it looks like without me in the shot. It's just pure white. So let's back it up and take a look at what this actually looks like. So backing it up, you're gonna see that I have just a bunch of really, really cheap clamp lights. These guys here, these each cost me 350. I got six of them. The bulbs I already had. Now, the bulbs aren't anything fancy either. All we're looking at is just these guys, this curly little micro fluorescence. The ones that I think look best are the ones that are the ones that say they replicate the daylight. So now let's take a look at the rest of it. The other thing that I have is just a, essentially a set of garage lights. I also picked these up at the hardware store. They were on sale for 30 bucks. Grand total between, like that's the only thing that I bought for these was the garage lights and the six clamp lights. Altogether it was only $50. I have a tiny little room here, a little rack of snare drums. It's the microphone I was recording it with, which is an Audio Technica AT4041. My studio setup, and then we're back around. That's it, tiny little room. So the background's nothing exciting either. Honestly, it's just two pieces of poster paper that I packy taped together and taped it to the bottom of my bed. Altogether, seriously, only 50 bucks. So if you have the zebras effect on your camera, that can be a real big help. You can set up your shot and just adjust your contrast until it pretty much zebras out the background and get in front of it and you're good. One of the other things that you might need to do is when you get it in your software, and again, I was just using free software. I was using iMovie that came with my Mac. What you're gonna need to do is, if it looks a little bit yellow, which it will do if you're using the halogen lights, like you can get at the hardware store for really cheap, uh, it's gonna end up looking a little yellow. You're gonna see your color wheel that you can get into your video or clip editor. Just find the yellow and go across from it and it'll eventually sort of cancel it out. You'll have to play around with it a little bit. Play around with that setting, your contrast, and you can end up having a pretty slick looking video for very, very little. Maybe even nothing, depending on what you have kicking around in your garage. Anyway, I hope you guys found this informative and you know I'll get back to smacking those drums around in the next video. Later.